right, let me just put the score up, turn the music back on so we can actually enjoy this game. Spotted here at the bottom, or sorry, top right corner of the map. In the loser's match, fighting for his life, it's going to be Root Gaming's EPS wannabe champion, the Yellow Zerg Petraeus. In the bottom left as the Red Zerg, it's Easter's Bly. Okay, so we just watched a pretty, let's let's be honest here, that was a pretty rough series for Bly. Uh, really did not expect that to go the way it did. Uh, I was expecting, honestly, a little bit more out of that series. And I'm not disappointed, but for Bly's sake, I'm sure I'm certainly sure he's uh, not too happy with the results there. That being said, it's a fresh best of three. It's a new Zerg opponent, and we'll see if he can turn this around, or if Petraeus will be the one who goes to the finals of this group. Mm. I really wonder if Petraeus was looking at those uh, at that stream. You think he was? Uh, maybe? I don't know. It's... <laughs> for him, I mean, I, I don't think so. With his, his response of, oh my god, it's over already, I'm sure he was probably doing something uh, else. I didn't see that. Okay, I was gonna say, I thought he would not respond as fast as he did to the, uh, the whole, like, pick your map thing. I thought he was gonna be, like, making a sandwich or something. Yeah. But, uh, I guess if that's the case, then that's a little unfortunate, right? But he, you know, maybe I'll figure it out because it was so quick, like, it was probably Lingolins. I'm just at, like I'm just saying because like maybe Petraeus he's certainly capable of doing his own Lingolins, like acting like uh, or playing like Targa did, and if he would just be like, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Go ahead, yeah, yeah. At least in the first game, I'm gonna try it. Well, the uh, yeah, I, mm, I'm just thinking on this like Petraeus, whether he was watching or whether he was waiting or whether he was studying or just eating and aloof. I mean, the thing is, again, his strings come to being very reactive. If it's just general senses coming into this, like, I really see Bly being the guy who makes the first move and, like, Bly, uh, Petraeus kind of taking the, the dance to the step where he responds. Uh, I'm not saying he wouldn't go for a big Lingol and give him the opportunity, but I just, again, knowing how these guys play, having seen them so much over time, I just I kind of think Bly's the one who's going to make the, make the first move. Here's what's funny, though, is that Bly, I think, was making the first move. He chose the Roach Warn, or he chose the plus one missile attacks first. And he also chose to go for a fast layer first. He was kind of like, you know, he was in control of himself. He was setting up the builds that he wanted to do. Targa just like, you know, it, it may have been the first reaction, but it was the stronger one. Yeah, it's <laughs> so, weird to phrase yeah. it like that, but yeah, that's pretty much nail on the head. Yeah, Bly might start the aggression or he might start just controlling the game however he wants to, whether it is like, you know, with the, the banning attack or the, the weird roach game or fast mute or something like that. It's just like Petraeus might just be able to like, you know, like Targa, force of will over his desire to control the game. Well, both have got speed starting up at the same time. Bly uh, does manage to squeeze by with these legs. It's always a bit nice. scary when two get by instead of one, because all of a sudden it's potential for a drone to die. Same here for Petraeus, but that was his first thing a little bit earlier. Very, very similar game going on both sides of the field. Yeah. Getting around that time, but if anyone's gonna go and make a bunch of lings, it's now. Uh, awkward? Okay. Alright, Bailiness goes down as soon as he kills that ling. Uh, this might be, I mean, this is my, it should be the last drone if he really is gonna use that Bailiness for anything other than just defensive purposes. And it's not, it makes another one. Is Bly just gonna skip his own bailiness? It's a little. It's, it's really risky, risky to do that. It's not just a little. That's really risky. Yeah, unless unless you see that your opponent went gasless, it's always risky. And even then, if they go gasless, it's still a risk because it's possible they do get speed later on. That's a whole other can of worms. But uh, you know, Bly ooh, makes a lot of lanes and makes a roach warn. I mean, so I guess this is like gonna help versus the counterattack with bailings against Petraeus. I mean, that is the bottom line, right? Like, if there are bailings to deal with, Roach is going to be better. Weirdly enough, though, when it's early on like this, you usually don't have enough Roaches to deal with the actual Ling count. So I I really... This could play really well for Bly, but it could also hurt him really badly, not having his own bailings. Well, as long as he doesn't lose these Lings, that whole, like, Ling surrounding the Roaches won't happen or won't be nearly as potent. Mm -hmm. But if it does, then... Oh my god, do not, Bly, please. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even like what. Mm. I think when you see four banelings morphing, unless you're really gonna go all in with your own banelings, you're you're not gonna get anything done. Like, stop, stop giving me a heart attack for no reason. He's he's getting eight roaches though, so this is turning into kind of it's an all in, right? Like he's gonna he's not gonna get any banelings. A little surprising, roach bane. Oh, okay, never mind. Here's the banelings. So roach banelings it is. Well, the banelings is uh gonna be a little late. The roaches are gonna start walking over pretty soon. 
Well, Petraeus did a pretty good job of taking pretty minimal damage from that. He's still down in army supply, but that really didn't get into the base for now, and it didn't do a lot of damage for now, but you know, his lair's on the way, and that's a lot of roaches already marching for Bly. He's going to see this too, and his heart's got to sink, because what can he really do? He starts some more spine cars. This is a great move, but Bly could walk past these. <laughs> Yeah, I wish that he had blocked off the ramp with them. Yeah, I, I, I guess like the further back, he's just trying to buy more time and a bigger chance yeah. to actually complete. Because so many odd times we see this start, but they die 90% complete as they're popping. But Bly has to wait for his own banelings. Again, that baneling nest was just, you know, it was timed out to be let like, the roaches reach here and then the banelings morph. I mean, imagine if the banelings were already morphed and like attacking those spine crawlers. That would have been pretty good. But it's still 15 banelings, okay? Like, it's still going to be a lot of firepower no matter what time of the game it is, and they get all exploded on those spine crawlers. Ah, uh, this is just so potent out of Bly. Both oh, players just throw away tons of banelings, though. Look at that. Yeah, the roaches, ah, they're gonna have, they're gonna struggle to deal with the spine oh, crawlers if they even need to fight, but look at these banelings running for those drones. Good focus fire out of the spine crawlers, but the roaches still remain pretty much untouched, and they will be for quite some time. These links certainly can't deal with this. The spine crawlers out of range. He could pick off this hatchery, I feel, with very little to no worries. No, it's mm, these spines reposition. It's not, mm, not really in a better spot. Yeah, he, he can pick up that one spine. I'm surprised he's not diving for it. But with Trace, with four, like, if it was only two spine crawlers, I think he'd be a lot more worried. With now three, as the last one dies, oh, and all these links. links. That's a great surround out of Petraeus, but I mean, he still lost a lot for this. Uh, maybe not in the actual worker count, but his army got absolutely demolished. There's no counterattack potential here. He does have enough for five, about five mutas. So. Okay, four. <laughs> so, I mean, it's not really a whole lot. Um, but Bly did give up, uh, you know, something for that attack. He killed a couple of drones. He's still down by five. He only killed seven, actually. It's, it's really not that great. Uh, but, of course, he gave up the, you know, his own lair timing. I think that's okay, though. Like, he's getting a faster third, and his lair's finishing up now anyways. Like, he's only losing out on maybe, like, roach speed, but it's not a roach speed game. You know, it's like roach versus roach. It's going to be mutas versus, I guess, roach. Bly's actually chosen... To make more roaches yet. Alright, so he's gonna get a couple of banelings to the face, but the mutals are finally in play. And this really severely limits what Black can do. You can on one hand try and flood with links and hope that the mutals just can't keep up with your flood, but I mean he just doesn't have the numbers for it, so pulling back might not be a bad course of action. He throws in a hydralist den. Not a terrible reaction he whatsoever. Petraeus could probably cancel or kill that third from Bly. There's no creeps for to have over, uh, spore crawlers over there, and there's not that many queens. The Hydrazen is not finished, but he's spending time attacking overlords and lings. If he goes there right now, I definitely think he could get it. I guess just with the lings too. Yeah, that's gonna die. Well, for Petraeus' sake, this is kind of an important move to make. He doesn't have his own third up still, so canceling Bly's third. It's kind of the bare minimum of what he needs to do here, and he's going to get it. Uh, as far as pressuring to the natural, though, it's going to be a bit risky. Hydras are popping, queens are out, and there's a lot of Sim uh, City here going to favor here. But a couple of Bailey's waddling to that mineral line. Bly doesn't realize right away. He's going to leave the drones in place, stacks them up. Oh, seven drones killed, trying to hide them behind the mineral line. Not going to work as two more Bailey's roll on in. He's Larva just getting destroyed with this, too, and die. This he this was so worried about the mutas, he forgot to make his own lings. Right? It's like the Achilles heel of Bly is just make some banelings. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with Bly today, but it's not perhaps uh, his best matchup uh, that we've seen in quite some time. Hydras are not going to be enough to deal with this. The lings can actually get us around. The mutas, hell, are even deal with the hydras. GG's going to be called, and game number one is going to go to Betrayus.